New at 5, last week Governor Greg Gianforte's Property Tax Task Force released its recommendations to help ease the burden on Montana taxpayers. Tonight we're learning how the proposals are being interpreted at the county level. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens digs into all the details. Montana's Property Tax Task Force submitted its written report last week. The group released a set of recommendations that Missoula County Commissioner Josh Slotnick describes as a mixed bag. I applaud their efforts. I mean, these people tried super hard. They put a ton of effort in. They, they listened uh, in that they had people come in and make presentations. Um, and I believe they operated in good faith, but I don't agree with all they came out with. Slotnick says the proposals are about limiting local control, adding that tax policy should reflect the economic reality of each county rather than one statewide tax policy. Slotnick is not on board with a recommendation that would require 60% of voters to approve a levy. Currently, a simple majority is needed. This feels to me like the governor's commission saying, we don't want any more voted in levies to pass ever. And really what that is, it's kind of arrogant. It's kind of saying, we here on this commission, we know better for you, Missoula taxpayer, than you know for yourself. Slotnick is most excited about the task force's idea for a homestead exemption. It would lower tax rates on primary residences, long-term rentals, and some commercial properties. So I really like this. I feel like this is going to, this will lower residential property taxes for most homeowners in Montana. He stresses it's a long process for these ideas to become law, but if they do, each will affect taxpayers here in Missoula. I also reached out to Flathead County Commissioner and Task Force member Pam Holmquist to get her thoughts about the recommendations. I did not hear back before deadline. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana.